Hey everybody, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. Today we're going to take a look at this thing here. This is a dock that's primarily made for the Steam Deck. Now when the Steam Deck was first announced, Valve said they were going to make a dock for it. And unfortunately, here we are over a year later and they still haven't released anything. And so today we're going to take a look at this one here. This is a third party dock by a company called JSO. And honestly, it's got a good amount of bells and whistles to it. It has all the functionality that I would hope for in a dock. And that includes HDMI out to connect this to a monitor, three different USB-A ports, as well as an Ethernet connection as well. And like I mentioned, this is tailor-made for the Steam Deck. Not only does it fit perfectly within the dock, but it also has a cable that's tailor-made for the Steam Deck setup. And so this 90 degree plug that they have for the USB-C cable is really handy. And this is actually a newer second generation docking station that JSO has made. And it retails for $50. And so in this video, we're going to take a deep dive review of this and see whether or not it's worthy of adding to your beloved Steam Deck. And so without any further delay, let's jump into it. Okay, quick disclaimer here. All this stuff was sent to me from the manufacturer, but all the opinions are my own and no money was exchanged in any way. Now, initially we agreed that I was just gonna review the dock, but when I opened the box, it was full of stuff. And opening it up here, I had no clue what any of this stuff was, but it was kind of fun to open it up and see what I had inside. So let's take a quick look. Number one, they have a tempered glass screen protector. And like with everything else we'll show here, this is tailor-made for the Steam Deck as well. And it comes with two different screens as well as two different installation kits. And it also has one of those handy tools to be able to push out any bubbles that accumulate. Now my Steam Deck is the etched glass version. And so for that reason, I don't wanna actually add a tempered glass screen protector. I don't wanna add shininess to my device. But if you have one of the other two models and you don't wanna use a matte glass protector, this might be a good fit. And this kit retails for 12 bucks. Okay, let's see what else we have inside here. Now here is a soft rubber case for the Steam Deck itself. And as far as silicon grips go, these are pretty lightweight. And as you can see here, it has some bumpy texture here on the front and then a rib texture here on the back. Overall, I would say this is a nice soft rubber feeling and it doesn't feel like it's gonna accumulate dust over time either. As far as installation goes, all you have to do is just kind of wrap it around the Steam Deck itself. It just takes a few seconds. And so this is what it looks like when it's all set up. It gives you pretty easy access to all of the buttons here. Nothing seems to be covered or anything else like that. But by virtue of having this cover on here, some of the buttons are a little bit harder to access. For example, the power button takes a little bit more effort. But yeah, overall, I would say it doesn't look bad and it does add a heftier grip to the overall experience. But I gotta be honest, I really liked the heftiness of the grip before I ever added this cover. And so I'm not really sure who this grip is for. If you have large hands and you wanted to have a more grippier texture, then sure, that might be okay. But the silicone case itself is not going to give you much protection other than a couple of the places where your hands will go. For example, it's not going to protect at all if you happen to drop the case. And so this one retails for $17, but let's see what else we have in the package. Okay, turns out we have one more case to review. Now they're calling this one the protective standing case and it costs $22 altogether. And this one's a bit of an anomaly to me as well. It's weird that it has a bunch of hard plastic to it, but it only covers the back of the device. It also has a kickstand option here if that's something you're into. I will say as far as protecting this Steam Deck, this one seems to do a better job, but only within the back and the top and bottom of the device itself. And much like with the rubber grips here, it does provide a more grippy texture as you're holding it. If I had to choose between the two, I would say that this case here has a more natural feel to it. On top of that, I appreciate the fact that none of the buttons or analog sticks or anything else is inhibited in any way by having that front cover. And the kickstand function here is nice and sturdy. So if you do play in a kickstand kind of environment, this might be fine. Honestly, I've never really done this with the Switch or anything else, but the option's there. And so yeah, I'd say between the two, this one feels more professional and more seamless with the Steam Deck itself. But again, just like with the other one, I'm not really sure who this is for. If you're the kind of person who is very prone to breaking the back of your Steam Deck, this might be a good choice. But otherwise, I'm kind of grasping to find where the use case would be for this as well. Now, the last thing that came in a box that was not the dock is an AC adapter. This is also 45 watts, just like the original model. And it retails for $26, which is about the same price as the iFixit one as well. But the iFixit one has been out of stock for a while now, so this one might be an easier choice. Now finally, let's get to the actual Steam Deck dock, the thing that I wanted to review in the first place. Now this can support up to 100 watt fast charge, that'll all depend on the adapter you use. And bear in mind, the Steam Deck can only handle a 45 watt max. The HDMI can output to 4K 60 Hertz, and the Ethernet port is rated for one gigabit, and it also has a five gigabit data transmission rate with the USB hub. 
Okay, let's take a look at the dock itself. This has an aluminum alloy covering to it. It feels nice and sturdy. It has a good amount of rubber protectors here so that you don't damage your steam deck as you're docking it in and out. And yeah, it's nice and lightweight as well. As you can see, it has three USB 3.0 connections, that 4K HDMI output, and then this is where you'll plug in your USB-C adapter. Now there are other USB-C docks that you can get on Amazon. Maybe you have one laying around that will also work with the Steam Deck. But the real draw here is this has been tailor-made for the Steam Deck, and so if you don't have a USB-C dock, this might be a great choice. Now, if you're still thinking about using one of those protectors, let's check to see whether or not they fit. Now, the rubber one works just fine, but the hard shell one does not fit because of the kickstand here in the center. So you could dock it offset like that, but I wouldn't really recommend it. But for the rest of the video, we're going to keep the Steam Deck naked, just like how it was on the day it was born. Now with no case on, this thing fits perfectly. There's a little bit of wiggle room there, but the rubber feet do keep it in place. And yeah, I'm a big fan of this 90 degree angle USB cable right here. It makes it really handy. So let's go ahead and get this fired up and see how everything works. We're gonna plug in my 45 watt charger here first. And yeah, immediately start charging the Steam Deck. We'll also plug in the ethernet and this is the first of my worries. We'll get into that here in a second. And finally, let's plug in the HDMI and see how it works with my capture card. Okay, so this is the first issue here. I have an Elgato HD60S capture card and it doesn't play nicely with it. Now, there's a lot of reasons why this could be happening. The capture card itself may have some issues. It may also be a compatibility thing with the OBS software that I use. And I've had the same problem with other USB-C docks. So I don't think it's a JSO problem at all. I just think it's a compatibility thing with the SteamOS. So let's set this up old school instead. I'm gonna connect it directly to my monitor. And so yeah, in this kind of connection, it worked just fine connecting it directly to my monitor. I also hooked up my wireless USB mouse here in the back dock and yeah, it's working great. And so this is what my desk setup looks like when I do have it docked just like this. Of course, the Steam Deck is a monster, so it does take up quite a bit of space, but that kind of is expected just given how big it is. And luckily because the Steam Deck is so big, it hides all of the cables behind it, which is kind of nice. However, one of the things that does bother me about it is having that side port for the Ethernet cable. When I don't put the Steam Deck in its dock, like as you can see here, it doesn't have a very clean look to it at all. Now initially I thought, well I'll just use my camera here to capture the footage directly on my monitor as I'm playing. However, my monitor sits opposite a window on the other side of the room, and as you can see, the glare is terrible. And so I don't think it's worth showing the footage here. Instead, we're going to improvise. Using the magic of television, I'm going to move everything over to my studio and then film it there. And so here we are set up with my new studio, which I'm still not ready to show off to everyone, but I'm getting pretty close. Now again, here I have a USB wireless mouse hooked up, a Bluetooth keyboard and controller as well. And then we're connected via HDMI to my 4K portable OLED monitor. And yeah, here running in desktop mode, this is working just great. So if you wanted to dock this to a monitor and then use the Steam Deck like a computer, you could definitely do that. And you can visit your favorite websites like RetroGameCore.com to look at the latest guides. Or if you're feeling fancy, you could check out my old food blog and see what kind of recipes we have here. Now, full disclosure, I haven't updated this thing in like a year. I've been super busy with retro handhelds, but man, some of this stuff looks pretty tasty. I really shouldn't be recording this on an empty stomach. Either way, yes, both in desktop and game mode, this dock worked perfectly. In desktop mode, I could scale everything to 4K or 1080p if I wanted. And then within the game mode, it did automatically scale it to 1080p. And initially, if you used a 4K display on the game side of SteamOS, it would automatically scale it to 4K and you couldn't change it. So I'm happy to see here that it's actually scaling to 1080p instead. That means it's not going to force the games to run at 4K and you're going to get a lot better performance too. And so yeah, in summary, this is going to work really well with both game mode and desktop mode, no matter what your needs are. Now, I realized this dock was made for the Steam Deck, but I couldn't help myself. I had to try it with something else. And so here I am with the Aya Neo Air. Now, same setup here. I'm using a USB wireless mouse as well as Bluetooth for everything else. And yeah, it's working just great, nice and responsive. And of course, I can go into the display settings within Windows and set it up as an extended display as I'm doing here. Or I could set it up to mirror the displays or have it only show on one or the other. Either way, I think that if you have a handheld PC that has a USB-C port on the top, this dock will probably also work for that as well. And of course, I had to try out a little bit of gaming too. And yeah, this one worked out great. Okay, and so wrapping up things here, let's go ahead and go over the pros and cons of using this Steam Deck dock. We'll start with what I like. Number one, I like the sturdy construction here. This aluminum alloy feels nice and firm. I also think it has a good amount of padding around the docking part as well. I don't think you're going to damage the Steam Deck as you use it. I also appreciate that it has a good amount of ports. We have our Ethernet, HDMI, as well as USB. And the last point here is kind of Valve's fault. The fact is that this one is currently shipping and the official one is not. 
Now that story may change once Valve actually releases their dock and it's available for sale, but for now, if you want a docking solution, this is your best and only choice. Okay, now let's talk about a couple of the things I don't like about this Steam Deck docking station. Number one is the side port on the Ethernet. When you don't have the Steam Deck docked in, it's a little bit garish looking. And the next one is really just a nitpick on my side, but it doesn't play well with my particular capture card. Hopefully this is something that Valve will address in a future iteration of SteamOS. And again, this probably isn't going to pertain to most of the use cases out there. And so in the end, what do I think about this $50 Steam Deck docking station from JSO? Well, honestly, I think it's a pretty good solution. And I think $50 is about the right price point as well. It has some really nice build quality to it. And I think it's something that will last for years to come. It even has little things like rubber feet on the bottom to make sure it stays secured in place. Now, if I had the ability to change one thing about this docking station, what I would do is I would move that ethernet port from the side to the back instead. Because honestly, I don't really see myself using more than two at a time. And I'd love to have ethernet hooked up to this at all times without looking bad when it's not docked. So yeah, if you are a current or future Steam Deck owner and you want to make sure you have a dock as soon as possible, this one from JSO is not a bad pick. For 50 bucks, it does all the things I'd like it to do. It's definitely not perfect, but I've been using it on my desk for a couple weeks now and I've really enjoyed it. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful and we will see you next time. Happy gaming.